Hi, I'm Mangesh and uh, let's welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm planning to complete one more topic on SQL. Uh, it's a set operator. Under set operator, we have uh, four types, union, union all, intersect and minus. Uh, we will see one by one. Uh, first, let's concentrate on union. What is a union operator? Uh, obviously, you require two tables uh, to perform this set operator. Uh, it's not a joins, but yes, we, here also we require two tables to perform set operator. First one is a uni union. Union operator returns result from both queries after eliminating duplications. Uh, if you will try to fetch uh, records from two tables, they, if there are some duplicate values, it will automatically uh, suppress. And in union all operator, uh, we have a union all operator as well. Here, uh, it will take the records from both table, including duplicates. So what I will do is, uh, first of all, I will perform the union all operator example uh, practice and later we will go for the union one so you can easily compare uh, both so this is what the sql query you can see uh, select employee id job id from employees uh, union all select employee id job id from job history table names are different but column heading is the same uh, we require column heading same uh, to perform set operators so let me copy paste this the same sql query on my database so here is my database i have executed this one so yes uh, uh, it fetched all the records from the board table and yes a duplicate value is also coming over here uh, let me see what is the records present in my job history table first uh, instead of this uh, let me put star over here so yes uh, in job history i have an employee column then start date then end date then their job id and their uh, department ID. Uh, its employee ID and their department ID is uh, present uh, along with job ID. Uh, you can see uh, 101 records came twice. It's uh, I came twice like uh, first when that person joined uh, in 1997 till 2001 that person was a accountant AC account means it's accountant and later he got promoted from 28 October to this date he is an accounting manager. So every company, let's assume our job history, when we join company as a fresher, then we'll be the associate. Later we'll move our, uh, after our promotion, we'll go to the senior associate, SME or team lead. So every time uh, your code is changing, your prom after your promotion, you'll go to the one level up. And HR job history uh, uh, under that table or under that uh, uh, database, your entire information will be saved automatically that you join as associate, you become a manager, for, for how many duration you are associate for how many duration you are a senior associate like that so same table uh, uh, just assume job history is the same table like this and we have an employees table where all in employees information is already exist so what we are doing is we are just taking this column employee ID column and we are taking job id column this one and these are the these both are the common column present in both table so after executing this yes uh, let me sort data in ascending order order by employee id so order by will automatically sort data in ascending order see 100 comes up uh, see 101 came thrice now he's a um, uh, but it all three records are unique but i want to see any duplicate records are there or not so i'm going down i can see there is a one record uh, 176 uh yes 176 sa rep 176 sa man 176 sa rep so we can see a 176 is a duplicate records but it's a union all operator not a union if we will do the union then automatically one will get suppressed and others two will come in the picture uh we have one more record that is a 200 uh see here three records got fresh uh but uh, we have one duplicate also 280 assistant that is a duplicate records we can see in the output but union all operator it will fresh record from the board tables and, and it will come duplicate values also but if we will remove all and we keep union then yes what is the definition of union it will suppress the duplicate values now execute this and see the output so uh, these are the unique one actually 101 let's go to the 176 because we have seen 176 came thrice uh, when we executed union all. Now here we can see 176 came twice. 
one is automatically suppressed which was the duplicate one and go for the 200 also so here i can see 200 records come twice so this is a way uh, union operator and union all operator will work now let's focus on the next operator which is a next one uh, next operator is a intersect the intersect operator returns rows that are common in both table so uh, we also seen just that 176 and uh, 200 records which is common in both table because while using union operator uh, i can see duplicate values in so intersect operator will tell you which are the common records are available in both table only common not uh, all so let's see uh, let's go ahead and execute uh, this sql query to find out which are the common records available in both table uh, i'm just doing copy paste but this is what the where we can use the union uh, union all intersect or minus operator uh, column heading if you see both columns are same table names are different because we are it's an employees table it's a job issue table let me execute this and yes you can see here these are the two records which is common in both table so what intersect is doing it will automatically fetching the records which are common in both table we have one more uh, uh, set operator uh, let's focus to the that one and name of that uh, operator is a minus the minus operator returns rows in the first query that are not present in the second query for example see if uh, whatever data available in first table it will get fetch all rows not all rows because there are some records which is uh, which is there in second table also so it will not fetch all, all records from that table okay uh, let me uh, make it very clear it will fetch all records uh, no it will not fetch all records it will fetch only first table records but there are some records which is present in second table okay and all records from the second table it will not come so i want to say this 176 and 200 these records will not get fetched why it is available in first table also and second table also and second tables all records will not come in the picture so let me show you in practical way uh, go ahead this is what the sql query let me sorry copy this i have pasted here uh, or we can use only minus here instead, instead of pasting you can see uh, all records got fresh from the first table uh, first table has actually uh, first table has 107 records but there were two records not got fresh which are those one we know 176 because in intersects we have seen 176 and 200 these are the common record in both table so let's go here and see 200 records not get fetched and go for the 176 also so let's see after 175 we have 177 means 176 will not come so those records of first table those will also not get fetched which is available in our second table so this is what the set operator works and we have only four operators try similar practice on your database you will automatically get perfect in this chapter uh, i wanted to tell you one more thing that uh, uh, i'm planning some uh, sql revision lectures uh, so there we are going to cover all uh, uh, all sql statements with examples and with definition so let me pause for uh, one five seconds and i'll get back Hey guys, I'm back again and um, I wanted to share you this screen. Uh, what we are going to cover in the next lecture in the revision session, uh, I will cover all these statements with example, with definition. And yes, we are still missed with the merge statement example, rename statement example, comment. So that I'm going to show you in the revision video. And uh, whenever we're saying that we have a good knowledge about the SQL, so we must be aware of all these statements with examples and with definitions. And uh, yes, in SQL, basic SQL, these are the very important topics where all SQL statements, then uh, joins, you must be aware of it. Database objects chapter, that is also very important. Then constants is also very important. Uh, after that, uh, we also done with the set operator. And in select, mostly you have done group by clause, order by clause, uh, minimum salary, how you'll get it, maximum salary, how you'll get it. So all operations which we covered in our previous videos, those are very important in your SQL. So just go through it, go through my entire channel, uh, do same practice which I have performed in our database and uh, it will definitely help you a lot. 
so see you soon with the all sql statements uh, uh, that lecture and uh, in revision also i'll try to make it very short and uh, i'll try to compete within less videos about about our revision so once those videos are ready then i will upload all those videos also so see you soon thank you for watching this video bye bye